Hello and welcome to Playtime. I'm your host, Gamer 2004 and today I'm going to be bringing you Friday the 13th. Gotta say, love the game. Was It's very buggy uh, for having been released just recently, but... Uh, you know, a patch came out recently that fixed a lot of the big issues. A lot of the game-breaking glitches have been fixed. Matchmaking was fixed. Before the patch, it would take sometimes up to 30 minutes to find one game, which could which lasts at most 20 minutes. And that's if you didn't get dropped from a game. Uh, this game is really heavily based on being able to communicate to your teammates. But as you can see, nobody else in my ch uh, party has mics or are talking or anything like that, so I, I, uh, most of the matchmaking that I wind up in, nobody has a mic, so I just set myself in a party so that they don't have to hear me doing this episode. But communication is key. Uh, you can only hear each other in the game when you're in close proximity unless you have a radio, which allows you to talk to other people with radios but you can hear every what everybody else is saying. Uh, the other big thing, though, is... This is the reason why I said it's a party. I'll be the only one talking, so when Jason is near me, he'll hear me. But he won't hear me because I'm in the party. Oh. C.H. Milk has a mic. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> but the basic premise of the game... Uh, it's one on up to seven. Uh, you got one player playing as my as uh, Jason Voorhees. The other seven are random camp counselors created strictly for this game. Uh, as far as I know, not none of them have been in any of the movies, but I don't really know. Uh, I wasn't a big Jason fan. I watched a couple, but uh, Freddy. I was always a Freddy Krueger thing. When Freddy vs. Jason came out, you better believe that's who I was rooting for. I have to do something. Now, this game has I an have interesting to aspect. Uh, it's got fear. Uh, it's got sound. <coughs> the main objective of the game is to escape Jason without dying. Or if you could pull off a very unique uh, set of... Uh, steps, you can kill him, it requires knocking off his mask, and, <coughs> oh, excuse me, knocking off his mask, having a female counselor find his sweater, and killing him with a character that you call him. Well, I have a map. Is Jason already nearby? Are you serious? Jason can teleport around the map. Uh, I gotta try to leave. Yeah, Jason's nearby, I can hear him. Yeah, there's Jason there. So while he's distracted with them, I'm gonna just book it away. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jason can teleport around the map, so... His skills involve him teleporting across the map. He can, uh... Make himself go very quickly across the ground. Uh, is this a graveyard? I do not want to be here. I do not want to be here. Uh, 
why am I here? Why am I looking? Oh. No, that's just a tree branch. I am so screwed. Oh, hey. First aid. Oh, and a fire axe. Okay. Good place. teleport around the map, and he, he has an ability that allows him to quickly travel further. Uh, he has an ability that lets him see where people are hiding, and he also has an ability, you heard the uh, proximity mu uh, music start up, which immediately I was like, wait, is Jason here? Uh, he has an ability that lets him make, uh, tone that down so that people aren't as, uh, are you really gonna try and come in? Dude. Uh, lock the door. Locking the door makes it harder for Jason to get in. He can only get in through, uh, doors. He can't go, go through windows. Has anybody accomplished anything? I've got keys. So that means that the four seat car has gas. <laughs> they put gas in the four seat car and put the battery in the two seat car. But it doesn't matter because if I can survive, I can get into either car because I've got keys. <laughs> Dude, I'm on my way out. You can... Oh, but that's if I can survive. I don't have a pocket knife. Jason's biggest threat, uh, biggest thing is his ability to grab people to kill them. He can kill people one or two ways. He can grab them to kill them, or... He can, you know, attack them with his weapon. Grabbing the kill pretty much is an instant kill. You can try to get away by breaking free. Five minutes we'll all be able to run out wherever the cops show up. Of course there's no gas in here. There's almost always gas in this one. That person's dead, and I'm probably going to be next. Okay, if he goes after them up at the cabin, I'm making a book. I'm booking. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, if he comes after me, I'm screwed.
Where did he go? I need to make some progress toward getting out of here. I'm just gonna go up this way and pray I don't run into him. Everything you do makes noise, and he can track that noise. Uh, me right now, he could probably track me if he wanted. Uh, getting stuck on stuff. As Jason been here? Jason has not been here. I'd rather be somewhere where I can lock the door. Oh, please let there be a pocket knife in here. No, but there is a radio, which is useless. Seeing as I'm not talking to anybody. Anyone out there, you have to come to Camp Crystal Lake. Bring a gun. Oh god, he's killing us. I'm gonna get some Help. points for this. Help! Please! Someone! That should let somebody come back as, uh, Tommy as soon as somebody escapes or dies. Yep, CH came back as Tommy. How did somebody come through here and not see that? Okay, so I'm close to this exit. If the cops don't show up here, I'm screwed. But I'm putting my money on the cops are going to show up here. Nope, they showed up on the other. They showed up on the other side. Get out and get beat up with the other guy. The best way to escape Jason is to stick together. Because uh, if you get grabbed, somebody, your partner, whoever you're traveling with, can hit him and. Oh, he's got a player gun. Dude, let's go. If I get grabbed, he can shoot Jason with the player gun. If he gets grabbed, I can hit with the axe. Jason's coming. He's that red mark on the mini-map there. And that's what I mean. Ah! Oh, I stunned him. I'm gonna heal up. Run, dude! Don't leave me behind. Fuck 
fucking die! I knocked him out! Run, run, run! I'm gonna get away! If Jason gets too close to the cops, he can, uh... He gets shot and killed. Oh! Oh! Oh, I can't believe that. He does I go shooting him. And that's what I mean. I, because I helped him escape from Jason's grasp, I was able my to survive sweet, Jason myself. Sweet Jason. If I had let Jason kill him, I, I would have probably now never been able to defend home. myself. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that. Wow, a thousand experience. I knocked Jason out! <laughs> Let's see. I have time for one more. Uh, but we're first we're gonna roll a perk. Dodging speed while in charge. There's dodge? <laughs> Except I take more damage. So. Now this is what you're gonna... Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. I'm definitely gonna... Hold on to those. That's what you're gonna want to spend your CP on. Uh... You can save up to get really flashy kills for Jason if you want, but most of the time you're not Jason, you're a counselor, so you're going to want to spend the points on getting perks to survive as the counselor. Surviving as the counselor will actually give you more CP to then later on buy the fit flashy kills for Jason. In my experience, the only time I've ever been Jason is when I've been invited to a private game. I've never been Jason in a public matchmaking random people game. I'd like to be him so that I could showcase him in this video, like his skills, but I don't know that that's going to happen. I might have to make a video with a private game where I am Jason showcasing him. No, yeah, that's part six Jason. Part six Jason has the spear. But he's also got a shitload of throwing knives. And those are my bane. I gotta get out oh, of here. I'm right next to the no. freaking car. Every time I start next to the car, I die. I'm like one of the first ones dead. The reason is, is because a smart Jason will trap up the cars. So that anybody trying to escape will, uh... Oh, there's a pocket knife. That'll let me escape his grasp one time. There's a useless radio. I need a weapon. I mean, a wrench is better than nothing. Oh, close that door. <sighs> this is no point. <laughs> These windows are the main entry point for most counselors. Uh... Jason can't come through them, and they leave the doors closed and locked, which are Jason's only entry points into a building. The, pro the only downside is that Jason can attack them and damage them, which will then hurt you if you go through them. Oh, I've got the battery right here.
And this is why you use the windows, too. You could trap up the door. I mean, grabbing that battery is gonna be pointless. If I can't find gas and keys. There's my first aid spray. So now if he hits me with those stinking knives... I need to find the door so I can... Tommy, is anyone there? Me. This is not a prank! We need your help! Jason is killing us! We need your help! Jason's alive! Please help us! Find the car keys, though. I already have a map. I have not seen Jason. Is he near me? Okay, I'm gonna forego my weapon to hopefully put the battery in the car. Okay, um, did Jason just bugger off? Oh. Please tell me the keys and the battery aren't in the same bunch. No, but it's another knife! I think Jason buggered off. if we can make some progress on this car. Even if it's for experience. Got it. 
Now Jason knows that I put that battery in, so I gotta make beelines over here. I need a weapon now. Oh, somebody died. Another map. Keys. 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 Well, this is no bueno. Keys. Keys. Keys! Now I just need gas. If I can find gas. why I'm searching the drawers. I don't... I, all I need is gas. Cars have gas in them. Where's the gas? At this point, I'm just gonna make a beeline south. Abandon the cars. I can't find the gas. Even if it stops Jason for one swing. Man, if only I could have found gas. I 
And that's another thing. You want to check that the objectives menu very frequently to see who has done what to what. Oh, I was gonna. I saw that red, and I was gonna be happy because that meant gas. Can, but... Red hair. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh my god! If I can find gas. Although at this point, the gas is going to be pretty pointless. Turn out the light. Jason's nearby. Oh my god, I hope the cops show up here. We are so screwed if he doesn't. If they don't. Well, nobody found gas. Run! survived twice in a row. That's a new record. I never survived two games in a row. I'm lucky to survive once. And there you can see Jason getting shot by the police. Oh, Swanee, I'm so sorry. I'm the reason why you're back in this. There's five minutes left. If he can survive five minutes or get to the police. Tommy is a great character. Like, the only way to get him is to call him and then for somebody to die. But the person who dies, usually first or escapes first, gets to come back as Tommy. From my understanding, Tommy is a character with ten, uh, ten, uh, all ten, uh, all Help! stats at oh God. ten. Uh, which makes him pretty powerful. He starts with a radio and a, uh, map. And he's the only one that can actually kill Jason. Like, like I said, you need a sweater, you need to knock his mask off, but ultimately Tommy is the only one that My can sweet, kill Jason. Sweet Jason. What it is Mommy with the killing Jason is you need to now find a sweater with a female counselor, have a female counselor find this <laughs> sweater here. It's in a shack that Jason spawns in. Uh, you find the sweater, it stuns Jason. Uh, but you have to have his mask off first, which only comes off when you knock it off with some uh, after enough damage. Uh, you, you, you get him to get stunned by the sweater, and then whoever is Tommy, you have to have Tommy in. Whoever is Tommy has to have a machete, and, in, and then it'll give you an option to kill Jason. It's a really long and usually imperfect plan to try and pull off, especially in a random matchmaking like this. I'm going to back out. Uh, I'm going to show you what I mean about, you know, tens and all the stats and everything. Every counselor has different stats, like so. Oh, I can roll another perk. Uh, no thank you. Did I get a duplicate? I got a duplicate. But this is a better duplicate. So I'll sell that one back. And roll another perk. Uh, I, don't, I rarely drive the boat. 
I'll be honest, a lot of times when I escape, it's because somebody's managed to call the cops. So I'm gonna sell that back. Anyway, every counselor has different stats, as you can see. I like to play with Kenny, who is the balanced character. It allows you to do a little bit of everything good, except, but you don't excel at anything. Like, Tiffany here, she is great at avoiding Jason. Uh, Deborah is great at hiding from Jason and then fixing stuff. Vanessa here is great at just running. Uh, Adam, he's pretty good at fighting Jason. Eric is great at running, and, uh, hiding and fixing. Brandon is especially great at fighting Jason. AJ is good at surviving. And Chad, <laughs> Chad's worthless. He's just good at running away. And then Jenny is good at surviving. Uh, me, like I said, I like to play as Kenny. Your main, your stats are composure, uh, reduces your fear, the rate at which you gain fear, and how easily you can escape Jason's grab. Luck pretty much just gives you more hits with a, uh, with a, uh, melee weapon. Well, any weapon, actually. Uh, repair allows you to do that repair mini game with fewer... Uh, button inputs. The lower your repair, the more buttons you're going to have to push. Speed over allows you to run faster. Stamina allows you to run longer. Stealth. That reduces how much noise you make for uh, uh, J Jason to just hear you. And then Jason's sensibility to see where everybody's at. The better your stealth, the, uh, further, uh, the closer he has to be to actually sense you. And then strength is how much damage you do to... Uh, Jason, as well as reduce the uh, stamina cost of, you know, attacking and everything. Like I said, I like to be Kenny who doesn't excel at anything, but he's good in everything. I see a lot of people playing as Jenny, I see a lot of people playing as uh, AJ, and I see a lot of people playing as Adam. I've seen just a couple play as Eric. Uh... I haven't really seen anybody play as Tiffany, really. Deborah is a pretty popular choice. And once in a while I'll see a brand new, but not too often. It's, it's usually AJ, Jenny, Deborah, and Adam. But that's Friday the 13th. Uh, it's $40, but you know what? It's a fun time. Especially if you love these, you know, kind of games where it's one on many, but the one is more powerful than the many. Especially in a game like this where you really don't have much of a chance to survive. Uh, it's a good game. Needs still needs a little working out. I'm hoping they bring out some sort of story mode to come with this. But I have fun with it, so... Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully it, it'll help you decide uh, what you want to do with it, whether or not you want to buy this game. Anyway, this is Alta Gamer 2004. Play on and play hard.